This Can-N air intake system is designed to increase power and acceleration by reducing restriction in the intake path. K&N 69-8619TS air intake fits 2013 Subaru BRZ, 2013 Scion FRS, and 2012-2013 through 2013 Toyota GT86 with 2-liter engines. The 69-8619TS air intake is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check KNFilters.com for an up-to-date list of models this air intake fits and for a list of other carb adoption states. KNN power testing showed an estimated power gain of 6.6 .6 horsepower at 6,670 RPM with the 69-8619TS air intake installed on a 2013 Scion FRS with a 2-liter engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather, and other variables. With the air intake installed, we ran the vehicle on the dyno to test the sound comparison versus the stock intake. The intake system includes components that have been designed or matched to the needs of these vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Detailed installation instructions are included with this kit. The tools needed for this install are shown. Turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Disconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection and unhook the wiring harness from the air box. Release the spring clamp and then disconnect the crankcase vent hose from the fitting. Loosen the hose clamp securing the intake hose to the throttle body. Loosen the hose clamp and disconnect the engine sound tube from the engine sound drum. Remove the two bolts securing the resonator and air box to the core support. These bolts will be reused in a later step. Remove the remaining air box mounting bolt. Then lift up the air box assembly and remove it from the vehicle. This bolt will be reused in a later step. Install the provided heat shield mounting bracket onto the lower air box mount using the factory bolt. Install the provided silicone hose onto the throttle body and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the provided heat shield insulation strips onto the bottom of the heat shield. Some trimming of the insulation strips excess will be necessary. Install the provided L bracket onto the heat shield using the provided hardware. Install the provided L bracket onto the heat shield using the provided hardware. Install the provided L bracket onto the heat shield using the provided spacer between the bracket and the heat shield and the hardware. Do not completely tighten at this time. Cut the provided edge trim into two sections. One section is to be 27 inches long and the other section is to be 13 inches long. Install the 13 inch long section of edge trim into the hole of the heat shield and then install the 27 inch long section of edge trim onto the top of the heat shield. Remove the core support bolt. This bolt will be reused. Set the heat shield into position on the core support and secure with the factory air box mounting bolts into the previously installed bracket with the hardware provided. Install the provided 90 degree vent fitting into the K&N intake tube. Plastic NPT fittings are easy to cross thread. Install the vent fitting hand tight. Then turn it to complete turns with a wrench. Remove the two screws securing the mass air sensor into the factory air box. And then remove the mass air sensor from the air box. Install the mass air sensor into the K&N intake tube and secure with the provided hardware. Install the tube through the heat shield and then install the provided rubber mounted stud onto the tube. The tube is a tight fit through the opening. Take care so as not to damage the edge trim. Rotate the tube down and install it into the silicone hose on the throttle body and install the mounting stud into the bracket. Secure the tube with the provided hose clamps and hardware and tighten the mounting bracket at this time. Connect the crankcase vent to the fitting installed into the K&N intake tube. 
Install the provided cap plug onto the engine sound drum. Reconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Install the K&N air filter onto the K&N intake tube and secure with the provided hose clamp. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting the vehicle. It would be necessary for all K&N high flow air intake systems to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. K&N makes products for nearly every vehicle on the road. The K&N website allows you to search products by vehicle or dimension, download installation instructions, view dyno chart showing estimated horsepower gains for this product, and view product details. For information on where to buy K&N products, go to knfilters.com.